So in my endless circling, I realized that I needed to make dinner. And at that point, I realized I was going to be setting up uh, mating nukes and cell builders in Northern California, and I was going to need food for the bees. So I needed to make pollen patties. So I've got Ultra Bee Pollen Sub, uh, about five cups, and about three cups sugar in here. And I'll dump that in the mixer. Um, I also like to put a little pinch of uh, the pink Himalayan salt in there, any of the salt and minerals, and that's in there. So we'll lock her down, start the mess, and it takes approximately two cups of good warm water, helps the sugar disintegrate quicker and uh, make a paste, and then you just adjust it as you go uh, see how it turns out each time sometimes i add a little more of this a little more of that i taste it it's not sweet enough i uh, add a little more sugar and then i bought some lemongrass oil so i'm going to put a couple drops of lemongrass oil in it as everybody says that makes it taste even better to the bees so we'll let that mix for a little bit and then we'll uh, get it out on a the wax paper and make the patties up. We've got a pretty good mix on it. It's looking about right. I'm going to put a couple of eggs in. Uh, there's good protein in eggs. And I have a lot of them. I'm getting about 18 a day. So we might as well feed the bees some eggs. We'll let those mix in there a bit and uh, see if we need to adjust it. Now I get a bunch of wax paper cut and lay it out here on the table. And then I'll just scoop up a big wad of pollen patty mix. And uh, you can see it's pretty pliable and, and rubbery. It's about the right consistency. That like if it's a little too runny that doesn't seem to harden up as much this should harden over <coughs> overnight um, be it just a little bit thicker I don't I've had it get too hard before or the bees could hardly eat it you don't want it there and you don't want it running down in between the frames so I just get a big wall up on there and, and uh, smash it out And then you can always cut these in half if you've got a smaller colony that doesn't need quite as much. Uh, we're lucky around here we don't have a small hive beetle so we don't have to worry about the pollen being on there too long and that small hive beetles getting in and taking over. Uh, I'm sure we'll have them eventually. So just try to get it flat enough that it will fit under your cover. Your, your lid, whatever you've got for space above the frames. Uh, you don't want the lid to be poking up. And if it starts to set and cure, and it's too thick, it'll be really hard to smash down to that level. Right now it's soft, you can do it, but once it starts to cure, you won't be able to do that. So anyway, this is the way I throw them together. I don't know if it's right or wrong. I'm sure if it's wrong, John will tell me. Uh -huh. um, but most everything that I find on the internet says pretty much just make a mix. You want a little more pollen than you want sugar. You want enough sugar they can eat it. Uh, the, adding the lemongrass oil helps encourage them to get to it. Um, and I made some similar last year and they ate it. So we'll give it a try. At least they'll have something if it rains for two weeks. So I did two mixer loads. And that's what I've got for a stack of pollen patties. That's uh, quite a bit of pollen patty. So they sell pollen patties pre-made. 
when you look at them and go, oh, they're not a whole lot more expensive than the bag of pollen. Yeah, but there's a whole bunch of sugar in there that doesn't cost the same as pollen. And they really are cheaper to make. And you can make them as you need them. So, uh, this is what I've got. Anything that you're not going to use, you know, fairly soon, get on the bees, get in the freezer. Because it, it will go bad. It's protein. It'll rot. But uh, it's not that big a deal. Make a couple mixer loads up and uh, you get to feed the bees. So just don't leave the mess for the wife. Because that doesn't go over well. <laughs>